another video. I'm Jess and I'm one of the creative designers here at Sizzix. Today I want to share with you our brand new effects range. So throughout this video I'm going to run through all of the products in the effects range. I'm going to showcase a couple of them and give you some tips and tricks and also showcase some of the amazing projects made by, by myself and all of the other designers here at Sizzix. So if you want to check them out, keep on watching. So I'm going to run through all of the effects products kind of one by one and give you a quick overview and I'm going to start off with luster wax so in luster wax you get three different colors you get the gold the rose gold or the copper and the silver and they're all 20 mil pots and they're all a really kind of creamy consistency so I'll just open one to show you guys they're a really gorgeous texture and they're beeswax based as well so they're really really smooth and they're infused with orange oil um, for a smooth application okay and the orange oil makes them smell incredible and they're just a really nice thick consistency and they're perfect for adding a little bit of extra touch or a little bit of extra shine to things like embossing folders or maybe you've got some like raised edges on a frame or something like that they're really nice for accentuating kind of raised elements so i just want to showcase all three colors for you and just to give you an example oh, this is kind of the colors in action so here they're on a black colored cardstock that i have embossed and you can see the kind of three colors so i've got silver here and this is a little bit more concentrated and faded out down the bottom gold the rose gold or the copper and then this is all of them mixed together okay and a tip for this is if you apply it with your finger you attach you get a little bit of your finger rub your finger in and then take off most of the excess and work with quite little product on your finger and it means that you can slowly build the product up okay so just to give you a bit of an example of some projects with that one i've got loads of cards here i'm going to show you quite a few So here I've got one that has got um, silver on like a coloured background. Just to show you guys, you can use them on different coloured backgrounds. So that one's on a coloured background. We've got one on a slightly darker background. So these are all embossed cardstock. And then this one is on a white background as well. And then I could even do it on a bold one like so. And then you can start to mix the colors if you want to as well. So this one is obviously all mixed and just really highlights the extra texture. So you could go in first with your copper color, and then you could go in with your gold, and then you could go in last but with not least with the silver, and you could highlight all those really sort of top edges, okay? You could also apply it just to die cuts. So this is applied just to a die cut. So I've got one color underneath and one color over the top, or like so with the flowers you can just highlight different edges of the flowers and then you could do it on other kind of makes other than cards so i did mention a frame before so this is highlighting obviously all those beveled edges and all those raised elements on the frame and then you could also pop it on to a glass i'm just going to move these so this is just on top of a glass and then it does work on top of different materials and then it's got a die cut here that we've um, raised and highlighted with the luster wax as well so it's a really versatile product and just a really nice one to use in your daily making whether you're making cards or something a little bit more home deco or 3d okay so that's luster wax I'm now i'm going to show you i think some flakes so these are decorative metallic flakes and these again come in three different colors I'm just going to check how big the pots are I'm not sure how big they are but they come in a really nice um sort of aluminium or tin container and then you have the plastic element that keeps these flakes kind of intact because they're so delicate and they're Kind of a little bit messy so having that plastic lid really helps to keep them compact and as you can see 
you get loads of different flakes in there, loads of different um, sizes, small and big flakes, and it's really jam-packed and they're amazing color. So I'll open them all actually. So we've got the rose gold or the copper, whichever you prefer <laughs> to say. We've got the gold and the silver. Oh, see, you can see why having that, um, that plastic lid on the top really helps. Okay. And they work fantastically with all the other metallics in our color story, whether you're using luster waxes or I'm going to show you the acrylic paints that are in the same kind of color story. Um, and they all work perfectly together. Okay. And the best way to kind of apply this is with our Sizzix adhesive sheet. So you may have seen our adhesive sheets that work with usually like intricate die cuts. It's really great with using and attaching the metallic flakes using the adhesive sheets. You could also use our adhesive roller, but you could also use our 3D adhesive. Now our 3D adhesive is great for this because you can create slight texture with it and then you can go over and add the flakes and then you kind of burnish them off. So that's a really great way to apply the metallic flakes as well as the adhesive sheets and the adhesive roller or something a little bit more flat. It depends what kind of um, thing you're going for, whether you're going for something a little bit more textured or something flat. So here are just some examples. So I've just got some swatches of the colors so you can see. So these are applied with adhesive sheets. So this is just a flat piece here that we've attached the flakes to and then we sort of rub them in with a sponge or with a stiff brush and it really like burnishes that those flakes onto the adhesive and then this is the same process but then it's been embossed afterwards so that is the rose gold that is the silver here as you can see that really gorgeous shine and then the gold really pretty and then i'll just show you a couple of makes with those ones as well so you can do loads of things with these, whether you're doing cards or something a little bit more 3D. So a couple of cards here. So that's just really simple with our gold opulent card stock in the background. So like I said, um, these kind of metallics and our effects do work perfectly with all of our other metallics in every kind of um, product that we do and then we've just made a little heart and just attached the flakes onto there just to finish it off and add a little extra element again same with this one so this one is the rose gold and then bless me and then this one um is not a complete card front but it could easily be so and this is all of the flakes combined so you don't have to use just one color you can combine all of them and kind of add little bits of each color and then brush them all together to create that effect things so here i've got some rose die cuts and what i've done on the cardstock one said is i just added some of the adhesive roller just to create a little bit of sticky elements on the edges and then pop some of the silver metallic flakes on the edges of the roses and then we've got a couple of frames just to show you, so this is obviously just all the rose gold colour on a frame. And then this is all the colours mixed together. So again, all those colours mixed together on top of the frame, on top of the adhesive, and then just brushed in. So there we go. And that is the metallic flakes. Okay, I'm going to show you guys, keeping with the metallic range, I'm going to show you the decorative foil sheets. Now, again, these come in three different colours. And they are six inch by six inch squares. And they get ten sheets in each pack. So you're not really going to run out anytime soon. You get loads in there and obviously you get the three colours. So it depends what kind of colour you are going for. Okay, they're really easy to open. Let's just got a little sticky pad on the back and you open them and then you can pull them out. I'll show you um, one out of the packaging in a second. 
but these are fantastic for cold foiling um, so you could create that metallic effect without needing a hot foiling machine or any heat or anything like that and it's a really quick and easy transfer and you can use wet or dry adhesives to apply these so again like the metallic flakes like I said with the um, adhesive sheets or the adhesive roller or something like that but it works fantastically with our 3D adhesive as well and I am going to show you guys a little demo of this now okay so just to give you guys a little showcase of what you can make and then I'll give you a little demo these are the kind of ways you can apply the foil sheet so this one is flat using adhesive sheet so as you can see it's really flat and a really even application and then we've embossed one here and then this is the kind of thing you can create with the 3d adhesive and the foil sheets so you can really build up that texture using a palette knife or a texture tool and then you can wait for it to dry and then you can apply your adhesive sheet uh, sorry your foil sheet and then you can create this really stunning texture And just to give you guys a little bit of an example of what you can make. So I've got loads of different cards here. So here we've got something with the 3D adhesive down the center. And then we've just added the foil over the top, which is really simple, but really effective. Here we've used a stencil to stencil through the 3D adhesive and then applied it in the foil sheets over the top of the glued area through the stencil. And we've done the same again with these two pieces here. So as you can see, these have been stenciled through with the 3D adhesive, wait to dry, and then applied the foil over the top. It gives a really nice effect. And you can also put it on more kind of 3D bits. So we've got here a little plant pot. And this is again with the 3D adhesive, just applied wait for it to dry slightly and then you popped your foil over the top and create that really nice kind of foiled metallic effect on there and you can even pop it on shrink plastic so here we've got a shrink plastic little necklace and then we've just added some glue or adhesive down the bottom and then just applied the foil down at the bottom here okay so the best way to apply this is I'm going to show you through a stencil. So what I've done is I've got a black piece of card and I've got my stencil already cut out from cardstock. This is the full lattice die from chapter one and I've already cut this out from cardstock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down just using some masking tape or maker's tape. Depends how sticky you want it to be. And I'm going to take that to the back of my card. Okay. Like so. Make sure you kind of get all sides. I do recommend using cardstock if you are making a stencil out of one of your dies. Just because if you use our stencil film, it's just using really wet adhesive, it kind of starts to curl. So use our cardstock for this. And then I'm gonna take our 3D adhesive, and this is where you get to see this kind of in action as well. And again, it has that lid on the top and that just keeps it all safe and in, in, inside of your tub. And there is a hundred mils in this 3D adhesive tub, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a palette knife and just apply blobs over here, just in the kind of areas. And then I'm going to take our texture tool and the flat edge of our texture tool and I'm going to spread this nice and evenly through the stencil. You have to be careful that you don't move your stencil too much. You could always use re repositionable spray glue or spray adhesive. Obviously, make sure it's repositionable if you are using that. And then 
just get a really nice even layer and that's what's great with this texture tool you can get a really nice even layer like so and then you can just scrape off the excess there we go And then you can just peel this off and you want to wait for this to kind of completely dry because I'm going to show you a technique to get a really nice even foil. So you want to wait for this to completely dry, peel it off ideally when it's wet so this doesn't stick because that 3D adhesive is really sticky. Okay, so we're going to peel that off and then we're going to leave it to dry. And you kind of want to wait, wait at least kind of 12 hours, I think, to let it dry. And you'll see when it's dry because it'll go like shiny and you'll kind of be able to touch it, but you'll still feel a kind of tacky feeling. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my foil sheets. So just here, I'm going to use the silver. I'm going to take one of these sheets and you can see how thin they are. And attach it like so. And then I'm going to bring in one of my die cutting machines. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it through my machine. And this is going to create really even pressure across my sort of adhesive and it's going to make sure the foil applies really evenly you only want to do this when your adhesive is completely dry okay so just make sure your adhesive is completely dry before you do this okay so just roll it through a couple of times and then when i peel this off like so you'll get a really gorgeous, even layer of metallic foil. There we go. Really stunning. So, so easy to do. Here's one on gold. And you get that amazing, even application just by rolling it through your machine in between your two plates. Okay. So that's the metallic foil sheets. I think I'm going to show you the acrylic paint next because there's quite a lot in that comes with like an acrylic paint. Okay. So you get several different acrylic paints. Like we carry quite a few. I'm going to put as many as I can down here in the different colors. And they're all kind of in our color story range. So if you're aware or you've heard us talk about color story before, this is an extension of that. Okay. So these are all the colours. So I believe there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 altogether. Three of these are metallic. So these are the three metallic ones. And the other ones are a creamy acrylic paint. Although they're all creamy ac acrylic paint, but the other ones are matte and the other three are metallics. So I'll run through all the colours with you. So we've got agave, lavender dust, arctic sky, bluebell, lemoncello, cherry blossom, mango tango, primrose, hibiscus and green tea. And then up here we've obviously got our white, our black, silver, gold and rose gold. Okay, so these are all perfectly matched to our cardstock colours and the metallics are perfectly matched to our other metallic um, products in our range. Um, just to show you guys... Hopefully that fits into frame. These are all of the plain colours. So we've got them all kind of applied here. You can see how gorgeous they are. They're really opaque, really creamy, like the name suggests, and they have a great elasticity um, because they are made for crafting. And it means that you can apply them for loads of different things. And then you could even emboss them once they are dry as well, which is a really nice bonus with these ones. And then you've got the metallics as well. So these are the three metallics as well. Again, really nice consistency and a really nice opaque kind of colour. Okay. 
gonna move these out of the way. And just for reference, I don't think I actually said, these are 60 mil tubes and I'm gonna see if I've got one I haven't opened yet. I think this one, no, have I opened all of them? Maybe the yellow? I think I've opened them all, <laughs> but they do have a little silver, uh, there we go, a little silver tab underneath so that keeps them intact until you're kind of ready to use them okay uh, just some examples of some makes that you can do so i've got several different cards so here we've got a really nice card that's using the acrylic paint in the background and then we've added some bits over the top so as you can see this here has actually been done with luster wax so you can combine the effects products which is really nice and we've got a couple so this one is applied through a stencil that's the same florist lattice stencil that i showed you with the foil and then we've got one with kind of a dry brushing effect and a stenciling effect to, to create different tones which is great because you can obviously mix the colors with the white and black that's why we've included them and then to showcase the elasticity, this kind of shows you that it can be applied to something like a piece of card and then it can be embossed and you get that really nice texture and the paint doesn't crack or anything like that. It kind of bends with the cardstock. Okay, I've got a couple more like that here. And this one actually shows you how you can use our texture tool to kind of create texture with the acrylic paint. And then I've got one with the metallics. So again, that's, it has the same kind of elasticity um, and this has been embossed with the acrylics over the top. Okay. A couple of other products that do work fantastically with our acrylics are the pearlescent medium. Now, this is a really nice product because it can be added to any of our acrylic paints and you can make it into a metallic. So any of the matte colors, you can add just a little bit of this, mix it in together on a palette, and it makes it a really nice kind of shiny metallic color. So again, comes in the same kind of pot as all the others. And I'm just trying to check the amount. So there's 100 mil in that one again. And the kind of effect that you get is something like that. So hopefully you can see the shine when you apply that. And then I've got a card here as well. So again, they've just been mixed in with the pearlescent medium. So those colors of the acrylic have just been mixed together and then applied and you get that really nice metallic effect. Okay. You can also use our gesso primer with our acrylic paints. So this is great if you are applying acrylic to something that kind of needs a base layer. Gesso is fantastic for that. And you can actually use gesso for so many different things. You can use it um, as just kind of an, a white acrylic. You can water it down. You can use it as a base layer. Like I said, for, say if you're working on top of wood or on top of a darker color, you can apply this first and then add your acrylic over the top. Um, you could use it to stiffen fabric. Um, you can do so many things with gesso. And this pot is bigger than the other ones. Can't find where it says. I think it's 200 mil though. I can't find it. Oh, here we are, 150. So again, it is, you have that little plastic lid and then it's just a kind of white quite thick consistency okay so that's the gesso primer as well okay moving on i'm going to show you guys some dimensional paste now mine is kind of well used <laughs> so just bear that in mind but this is the dimensional paste again this is 150 mil um and this is great for creating texture so whether you're putting it through a stencil or whether you're doing it freehand you can create this amazing texture so here i've got a kind of example so this is just white just as it is because i'm just going to open it to show you because Again, it comes with that lid. 
and you can see probably th the thickness in that okay and that is just how it comes out and i'm going to show you how you can kind of create that texture with our texture tool but what you can also do which is really cool is you can mix it with our acrylic paint so this is just mixed with a palette knife with our, a bit of our acrylic paint and then we've applied it and you get this really nice colored texture which is amazing okay and i've got some examples here of different ways you can use it put that to one side so you could just go for traditional cards so this one here we've got just through a stencil it's been colored with our hibiscus colored cut um, acrylic paint and then applied through a stencil and you've just got an ever so slight texture um to your card front but what it's really great for is for things like canvases or 3D projects. So this is on top of a little gift box, again, through a stencil. But you can also use it on top of canvases. So you can probably just about tell. I'll just kind of hold this up. The texture there. It's just really, really nice. And that's through a stencil. Or you can just apply it just with a palette knife and create that extra texture just like that. And then we've got some of the foil on a couple of these as well. Yeah. You could even go full with our texture tool and create different textures using the dimensional paste. So here we've got some of the elements built up and then scraped away with the texture tool. And then they're just painted over the top rather than mixed in. And that creates a really nice background effect for anything that you're making. Okay. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the dimensional paste kind of in action, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of card. And just take it with my palette knife. And you can do this with a palette knife or you can do it with your texture tool. So I'll just show you how you can... Kind of build it up with your palette knife first so you can kind of create different different textures there or what i could do is i could take my texture tool that we used earlier and i could use one of these textured sides and i could drag that through and create a really nice effect and you can have a lot of fun playing around with this and it's just fantastic for working with backgrounds um, and then I could go in again oh I want to just that, that little bit <laughs> and this could create a really nice background and I could build this up to whatever I wanted yeah and then if I wanted it coloured, I'd just take a little bit on a craft mat and pop some with my acrylic paint. So there is the dimensional paste. And then we've got one more to talk about, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite a few. And that is the expand paste. Um, so this one's a really fun one. Again, it comes in a 150ml jar. And same kind of jars, what I really like about this collection is everything in, is in the same kind of packaging, so it looks really nicely all together. And it's kind of like this creamy white liquid gel consistency, okay? Again, you've got that plastic lid on the top to keep it kind of dry, um, sorry, to not let it dry out. And the great thing about expand paste is when you heat it, as the name suggests, it expands. So it is a white consistency, you can just use it white, or you can again, mix it with our acrylic paints, and then you can apply it with a palette knife or anything like that, and then leave it to dry, and then you heat it and it puffs up, kind of like a flocking effect. Um, so it gives a really nice texture. And this is obviously colored, and it just creates a really nice kind of 3D tactile element to your makes. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of examples as always. So I've got a couple of cards here. So here, this is just the plain white as it comes. So this is applied through a stencil and then just heated to create that kind of puffy effect. 
And then again, we've got this with an acrylic paint background. So again, we're always mixing and matching those effects products um, and then it's stenciled and then leave it to dry and then apply a heat gun to get let it puff up. This one I really love because this has kind of been um, added for a stencil, applied with the heat to make it expand and then we've put acrylic paint over the top rather than mixing it in. So there's loads of different ways you can use the acrylic paint with these. And that's just die cut um, elements, which I think is really fun and a really unique way of using the expand paste. And here we've mixed it um, with some glitter to create a sparkle effect. So really nice effect. Okay. And I wanted to show you how you actually use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pop it on to some fabric to show you guys that you can use it on different, different materials, okay? So I'm gonna move some of my stuff out of the way. And this is on a napkin. And what I've done is I've just taken a die cut. I believe this is one of the envelope liners in chapter one. And I just wanted a corner element. So I've die cut that from some cardstock. And again, I'm gonna take my masking tape. I'm gonna put that where I want it and kind of make sure that my stencil is secure. Okay. Like so. So I've got my stencil there and I'm gonna show you guys how you can mix um, the expand paste with some acrylic paint. So let me just get a craft mat. So here I've got a craft mat and I've got my expand paste. And then I'm gonna pick two colors. And I'm gonna go for green and blue to kind of create like a foliage kind of color. And then I'm gonna take my expand paste. I'll scoop it out. You can probably see the consistency there. And you probably don't need as much as I'm using for this tiny little part. I'm gonna have lots of left over. I'm just gonna scoop it onto my mat. And then I'm gonna add a little blob of my acrylic paint. And you see the consistency of the acrylic paint. Oh, I'm dropping things. Now that I've got those out. And I'm gonna mix those together. So I'm gonna mix that blue. And a palette knife is really handy for this, but you can use a brush if you want to. Okay, and then got the green and you can see how quickly those mix together and I'm just going to scoop those up and apply those through my stencil you could also do this with the texture tool um but I'm going to kind of mix the colors and I want to be a bit more precise so I'm going to use my um my palette knife and then I'm going to take the green the blue sorry and push it the other way okay I'm happy with that. The colors kind of blending together. Okay. And then I'll move this to one side and we can peel this off. All right, just peel your tape off and then pull your stencil off and then you want to leave this to dry it this doesn't take too long to dry um i would say between two three hours not that long probably a lot less than that um depending on the thickness and that is the same with all of these pastes depending on how thick you apply them depends on how quickly they have they take to dry basically but i have already done one in the other corner i did kind of smudge it a little bit so bad that i might <laughs> and what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my heat gun. So this is just our dual speed heat gun and I'm use it, gonna use it on the highest heat and I'm gonna apply some heat to it and you're gonna see it kind of puff up. Go. 
kind of see it starting to raise. And you create that really nice flocked and 3D effect. I think I've got one down the other end. It's a little bit clearer, so I'm just gonna move that around for you. So there you go. So this one here, um, I did a while ago, and that just kind of shows you the different colors and they're a little bit more opaque and you can see the design a little better. And that just goes to show how it works, how it puffs up, and the fact that you can use it on different materials as well, like fabric, which is great. And you can mix it with the acrylic paints to create kind of whatever colours you like, and they come out really, really nicely. Okay? Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed checking out all the effects range and maybe saw some tips and tricks or ways to use them that you hadn't thought of before. Or maybe if you were unsure of something, I kind of clarified a little bit and maybe even inspired you with some of our projects. If you are interested in checking out any of the effects range that I've mentioned today, make sure to head on over to the Sizzix website. They'll all be on there with all of the pricing and everything and we're always adding to our effects range so make sure you keep an eye out um, for when we have future launches as well. So yeah, thanks you so much for joining me today guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a safe and wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, stay safe and keep crafting. Thanks, bye.